we, we know it's challenging and we know we know that, that uh, the failure rate in fitness and weight loss is so high like it's just you know like 92 percent of people in weight loss will fail and you know in fitness most people just never you know i think the 3.7 trillion dollars spent on gym memberships every year and for globally less than 18 percent will actually show up emotions drive behavior Right? And emotions will keep you in your seat. Emotions will get you off your seat and get you outside. And it just, it's the practice of really basic core emotions. Uh, and again, it goes back to the why piece. Why am I doing it? Um, sometimes I feel that this is so hard. I mean, that's what you might hear from some people. Sometimes I feel that this is so hard and I just want to give up. If this is how I felt, what <coughs> advice or guidance would you give? Well, we just touched on it, uh, you know, in our, your, our last uh, question around uh, the why piece. Now, you know, when, when people have pet, people that have pets, how many people will take their pet, spend hundreds of dollars on um, visits to the veterinarian, uh, the veterinarian says, you know, give these medications to your pet, but they're suppository. So your poor dog or cat, you gotta lift the tail up, and, right? You gotta. So you, but people will buy the medication. They'll give the medication to their uh, to their their pet. They'll follow up on the vet visit, the, the veterinarian visits. They'll do all those things for their animals, but they rarely do that for themselves, right? And even uh, and just to take that a bit further, there's a, there's a great book called Psychology and Health. And uh, there's some, a lot of research that said, uh, you know, just like we don't look after ourselves. There's a really interesting, there's a, a problematic uh, issue with this where even take people, let's say people with glaucoma, 50% of the people that have glaucoma will go blind in one of their eyes because they don't take the drops, just because they don't take the drops. 50% of the people that go blind in one eye go blind in both eyes because they don't take the drops. You know, and we look at it it's insane, right? Like it because, just, is it because we kind of feel guilty if we if we um, take care of ourselves? Do we feel like we don't want to be narcissists in love with ourselves? Um, yeah, it's you know I, I think I think the problem is now is that it's just it's so multi layered. There, there is no easier answer for it, right? I mean you can you can you can make assumptions. One of the assumptions was that when it came to healthcare years ago, uh, doctors used to come to your house. Right, you know, like seven years, they come to your house, they administer the medication for you, they make their rounds. That's the way it used to be. Now it's all self. Uh, uh, now you have to self-administer your medication. But um, but I think it's just you know when you know we, we know it's challenging, and we know we know that, that uh, the failure rate in fitness and weight loss is so high. Like it's just you know like 92 percent of people in weight loss will fail, and you know in fitness most people just never you know I think. The three point seven trillion dollars spent on gym memberships every year, and for globally, less than eighteen percent will actually show up. And then the eighteen percent, less than half, will only go more than a hundred times a year. So, pretty dismal numbers. Right. But, but it, I think it comes down to one simple thing: is that emotions drive behavior, right? And emotions will keep you in your seat. Emotions will get you off your seat and get you outside. And it just—it's the practice of really basic core emotions. Uh, and again, it goes back to the why piece. Why am I doing this? And if I if I don't make it complicated, if I just have this vision in my head, I may have pictures on it. I have reminders uh, everywhere, and I continue to re remind myself, what's the point? It does not have to be perfect. I just got to get in motion. So every morning, my grandmother used to read the King James Bible every morning, and I asked as well. You know, and, and it's not an easy read. First of all, it's an old English. And the book is the Bible is really tiny, <laughs> and uh, but she read it because it gave her a mind, it gave her mind something to think about in a real positive way, and that became the way she started her day. So starting off by meditating on your why, or reading your why, or looking at vision boards about why this journey is so important. If you just do that before your mind's allowed to do anything else, then you'll find you'll be more motivated to take little steps each day, which ultimately will lead you down the path that you want to go. I really, I really like that answer. Um, focus on your why. Um, focus on your why. Help you to take those little steps.
Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions that you'd like our experts to answer, please leave them in the comments below.